Today in Draw My Life, Donald Duck's suicide. In the darkest corners of the internet lies the gory story of one of Disney's most beloved characters. And no, we're not talking about Mickey Mouse, but of Donald Duck. So if you want to know what drove this silly duck to madness, subscribe and hit the little bell. If you dare. It was an ordinary afternoon. My friends and I got together to have some fun before heading home. We started playing in the park, but soon got bored. Not knowing what to do, Julio suggested sharing scary stories as it was becoming dark. Excited, but a little scared, we all agreed. Julio told his story, but no one got scared. Then did Paula, Juan, and Maria, but none of them shocked us as we thought they would. Tired and not knowing what else to do, we headed home. When I got home, I got a notification on my cell phone. It was a message from Julio in our group chat. Now this will scare you to death, he said. I proceeded to open the message and there was a link to a video called Donald Duck Suicide. When I saw the title, I hesitated a little to open it, but I did it anyway. The video began with a title card that said, Walt Disney presents Donald Suicide. And the date, 1928. The sound was a little distorted, but even so, the dialogue was quite clear. Donald's high-pitched, quavering voice began to ring out. You'll never forget this, folks. He sounded like he was crying. The image quickly jumped to a nice neighborhood. Donald was walking cheerfully down the sidewalk until he ran into Daisy and a muscular duck kissing her as she was leaving her house. Furious, Donald picked up his pace so he wouldn't be seen. He couldn't believe Daisy was cheating on him with someone else. The next few days, Donald didn't sleep once, and his appearance deteriorated drastically. I've got to get rid of him, he said. Determined, Donald grabbed a knife and a garbage bag and made his way to the muscular duck's house. He broke his window, went into his bedroom, and killed him. He took his body, put it in a bag, and buried it in a deep well. Suddenly, the video abruptly jumped to another scene. It was seven years later, and Donald was leaving prison. Quickly, he rushed to Daisy's house, to whom he confessed the murder in detail. Horrified, Daisy asked Donald to leave and never contact her ever again. So Donald, bursting with rage, beat her, knocked her unconscious, and tied her up with a rope. Slowly waking up, Daisy began to scream when she saw herself on the train tracks. Hearing the whistle of the approaching train, Donald stared at Daisy, who was begging for her life, and said, I'm sorry. He then threw himself with her just two seconds before the train passed. The screen faded to black, and a pool of blood flooded the image. A carousel of photos began to pass with dead people on the tracks. Horrified, I turned off my cell phone and left it in my room. What the hell had Julio sent? When I came back, I heard the same high-pitched, trembling voice from the beginning saying, Don't turn off the cell phone, Lucia. You can't get rid of me. You've already summoned me. I'm waiting for you in hell. Not knowing what to do, I drowned my phone in a glass of water, but the voice kept ringing. Since that day, I haven't eaten, I haven't slept, I smell terrible, and there are voices talking inside of my head. Somebody help me, please. I can't take it anymore. I have to end this. I think there's a station nearby. Did you know the terrible story of Donald Duck? Let us know in the comments what other stories you would like us to tell. And if you liked this video, remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Till next time!